Hi, Muffler here. Sorry, I've been kind of non-existent, but I've been busy and I'm not wasting my time putting a chainsaw video out there that 400 people have done and really just pointless to do. Now, what we have here is a 550 Mark One, And it's got a lean condition when it starts. Once it gets running, it's kind of halfway decent, but it's still lean. I can tell you it's lean because it gets warm. The dealer tried putting a carburetor and a coil on the saw, which sometimes it'll fix them and sometimes it won't. But I run into this issue a lot with these 550s, right? And then the 562s and the five, all of them. Any auto-tune Husky saw there is, I've run into this issue with them. I don't know why Husky has not addressed this issue yet, but I'm going to show you how I fix them. Probably not the right way. I'm not no Buck and Billy Ray out there, and I'm not no rip saw. And I'm not one of these fucking guys out there telling you how to do this or do that or whatever. You know, I'm not that guy. Believe me. So if you're going to say some stupid comments, just don't even fucking say anything. Don't even give it a fucking thumbs up. Just fucking scroll on to the next video. Do me the favor. But if you want to learn about how to fix a 550 that's got a lean condition, well, today's your day. So come on along and join us. Oh, and we have a member section. So if you sign up for a member section... There's not really a bunch of videos out there, but it's out there to help me get revenue for my channel because the the videos don't do what you think. Like, I've made $100 on YouTube in six months. So the memberships is what keeps it going. So come on in, get some memberships. That's what helps me make more videos and want to make more videos because I don't want to do it for free. I'm sorry. I mean, do you want to go to work and get a paycheck all week and not work all week and not get a paycheck and do it for free just for fun? Yeah, I didn't think so. We have the hood off of it. And it has gas in it, as you can see. Now let me show you how to fix this problem. Does anybody else remember the great toilet paper war of 2020? First thing you want to do, pull the hood off of it, pull the air cleaner off of it, pull the carburetor off of it. So let's do that and we'll come back. All right, so here it is. So I'm going to show you how to fix this problem and make that lean condition go away, okay? So let me get it apart here and I'll show you what's going on. Because I'm not going to show you every detail, that, that's no fun. But I'm going to show you what I did and tell you how I did it, and then you can figure it out like I do everything. Figure it out on your own kind of type shit. Alright, so now it's all apart. So this is actually the diaphragm out of it. And the biggest thing you have to watch when you take one of these apart is this little piece of plastic, right? This is what they use for a diaphragm now is what they went to for ethanol fuel, right? So you have to make sure these don't have a hole in it or have a bunch of dirt on it like that. So we're cleaning this up. But what we're gonna do is, is we got this apart. So now you're like, well, wow, it looks like a regular carburetor. Well, it is. It just, they bought that extra fucking fresh air shit on it. So All right, so I drilled this point 0.35 bigger this hole right here and you see this whole thing right here I filed that in a V that'll make that lean condition go away on every one of these that you ever have okay so we're gonna put it back together and then I'm gonna run it again and show you that that went away all right here it is no choke let's see if it'll start or not <laughs> so you can tell how much cooler this saw runs now what i did that too a little bit just think about that i drilled that 0.035 and made that much of a difference and all i did was do that and file that thing out I guarantee you, if you got an auto-tune Husky and it's lean on the bottom, it'll make the problem go away. Don't waste your money on a carburetor and a coil, because it won't fix it. 
I just showed you what to do. But then again, I'm stupid and people don't praise me and praise the ground I walk on. But you know what I mean? We're out here living life at its best. Drug free, sober, killing it. We got a house and everything else that goes along with it. So, bye.